everybody, it's Lisa Birmingham and I am so glad that you're here. The inspiration behind this Mother's Day tablescape was flowers, flowers, flowers. Flowers are so feminine and soft that I couldn't think of a better way to design a tablescape for Mother's Day. Now I'm also going to be showing you three easy and affordable DIYs that of course are flowers and they will add to the overall blooming look of this tablescape. Every napkin needs a ring. I created these floral napkin rings out of shower curtains that I got from the Dollar Tree. They came in a package of 12. I'm only using six, so I'll have six for another set of napkin rings later on. And I love the way they look. They almost look like they're crystal. They have a nice ribbed edge around it, and they're so pretty. And then I also got some pink peonies. These looked so pretty and so just springy and the pastel color is going to go great on this tablescape they were at the dollar tree too so what i did to create these napkin rings was i took my peonies and i pulled them off of the stem of my flower and there was a little indentation in the shower curtain ring where the shower curtain would hang and it's a great place for me to hot glue my pink peony in place so I got some hot glue and I placed it on the bottom of my pink peony. There's a little plastic part that was left over when I pulled it off the stem. So I just put some hot glue on that and I placed it right in that little indentation and I held it in place until the glue was dried. Each one of these napkin rings is going to be the focal point to each of my table settings. It's going to add some extra height and dimension. And these napkin rings for a set of six is only $2 because I spent money just on the curtain rings alone and on the pink peonies. My Mother's Day tablescape is part of a collaboration that is hosted by my sweet and talented friend Antoinette from Simple Yet Chic. She and a bunch of other very talented designers and creators are coming up with some Mother's Day tablescapes and some spring DIYs, so you are definitely going to want to check them out. I will leave a link to Antoinette's channel in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. My next DIY is this frame. I got this frame at the Dollar Tree, and all I'm gonna do is just embellish the top corner. The peonies, again, I'm using the same ones that I used in the napkin ring by reusing them in this project. Not only am I saving money, but I'm going to carry the color scheme and the peony theme through to the frame. I'm also using some florals that I got from Michaels and some greenery from Michaels as well. I already had it, so it's not gonna cost me any extra money. What I'm gonna do with these florals is I'm simply just going to hot glue them to my frame. I'm gonna start off with the greenery first. I added some hot glue to the top and the side of my frame, and then I just placed my greenery into the hot glue. And I also pulled these flowers off of the stems that were at the bottom of my flower. I just popped them right off, and then what was left was just the plastic part at the bottom that's holding the flowers together. And I got some hot glue, and I hot glued the bottom of the flower. I started with the cream one first, and I added it to the center of the top corner. And then I took one peony and put it to the side, and another peony and hot glued it to the bottom. Now, the sign inside, the Happy Mother's Day sign, can you see that with the glare? I just created it on my computer, I printed it off and I stuck it inside. Frames are such a great way to theme a party or an event. This looks fantastic on my Mother's Day tablescape, but you can also use it for a bridal shower or a baby shower. And again, this only cost me less than $2 because I bought the frame, but I reused these peonies and then also I had the other florals. So this is another affordable DIY. My next DIY are these floral place card holders. I got the wood florals at the Dollar Tree that came in a package of 10 and I wanted to be able to theme them to fit in with my tablescape. So I decided that I would use some blue scrapbook paper to match the blue gingham on the plates. So I took my wooden 
flower, I placed it on top of the back side of the scrapbook paper and I began to trace it out. I traced out all of my six flowers onto the paper and then I got some scissors and I cut them out. Now that I have my six flowers and my six scrapbook flowers, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to use some Mod Podge and a sponge brush. I put the Mod Podge liberally on the top of the wooden flower and then I took my paper flower and I placed it right on top. I lined it up very carefully so that it fit on top perfectly and then I got my kitchen scraper and I scraped it really firmly all together. Now doing this does two things. Number one, it makes sure that the paper and the wood adhere really well together and the other thing is that it gets out any bubbles that might have been trapped underneath the paper. So after I scraped it all together, I pressed it all together, I let it dry for about an hour and then I came back and I added a top layer of Mod Podge to all six of my flowers and then I let it dry completely. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to add one of these mini clothespin hangers to each one of my place cards. I got these at the Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some hot glue and I'm going to put some hot glue along one side of the mini clothespins and then I'm going to place it in the top center of each one of my flowers. I'm going to repeat the process until all six flowers have a mini clothespin glued to it. Because this wooden flower is so thin, it fits snugly right inside of my standing place card holder. And then I took a piece of paper and I got some names and I wrote them on my piece of paper and finally I placed the strips of paper inside the mini clothespins. These are also such a versatile piece for your table design because you can switch names out, you can use them on a buffet table to label food, and again, this project was only $1 because I spent a dollar on the wooden flowers, I had the Mod Podge, I had the sponge brush, I had the scrapbook paper, and so again, it's another affordable DIY. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm Lisa. I do DIYs and home decor on my channel. I post weekly videos. I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. Now that all of my DIYs are done, it's time to style the table. We're gonna start off with a white tablecloth. I love using white tablecloths because they are a neutral background for all the other things to pop against. On top of the tablecloth, I'm going to put a gold charger and that's the base of the table setting. On top of that, I'm going to put a gingham plate. I got these gingham plates from Target. I got two kinds. I got a blue plate and I got a peachy pink plate. The reason why I got two different colors of plates is because I like to mix and match. I think it's got a little more interest to it than just having one plate around the entire table. I like the way it looks kind of kind of mismatchy. Plus, it also brings in another element of color into your tablescape. So instead of just blue plates, now I have blue and peachy pink. So I really like the way that those look. On top of my gingham plates, I am going to put a paper plate. Now this paper plate is so pretty. It's got that, again, that peachy pink look got a scalloped edge with a gold detail and there are a couple of reasons why I like to use paper plates. I like to use them because number one they are less expensive than a traditional plate. Number two there are so many different colors and varieties that you can always find one that fits in with your specific table design or theme and the best part of all about using paper plates is you can throw them away when you're done. So that's less dishes at the end of the night. 
At the top right hand of my plate, I have a glass water goblet, and then I also have a mini glass mug for a specialty drink. And then on the other side, I have a white ceramic cupcake holder, and on top of that, I'm placing a blueberry muffin. Do you see how I tie the blueberry muffin in with the blueberry plate? Huh? Pretty clever, right? The standout feature and focal point is of course our pink peony napkin rings, which I will add to the center of each place setting. And then also the final touch for our place setting is the place card that we made and it's gonna go right next to our blueberry muffin. My centerpiece is this riser, and on top of the riser, I put two white lanterns. And inside of the lantern, I have some large pillar candles, and then I put some dogwood branches and some more of the greenery that we put on our frame to tie everything together. Between the lanterns, I will add the DIY floral frame. And then the final touch, is some gold votive candle holders that I filled with water and then I placed some floating candles inside which will give a nice glow to the table. This tablescape is obviously designed for Mother's Day however it could easily transition into any spring or summer luncheon or event. The DIYs as well are so versatile that they could fit into any unique party or event that needed an extra little feminine touch. Now we are celebrating Mother's Day, so I just want to wish all of you mothers, daughters, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, all of the women out there a happy Mother's Day. You all make the world a better place.